second one is tied to compass. Compass. Deafening silence in the darkness. I was freaking out in a terrified occasion, but something unknown just did at me in satisfaction. I was fully droning in my emptiness, like a knee was placed upon my neck, and I was gasping for breath. I can't breathe. My groaning was alarming, but I guess the word was death to the church bells. Anguish was dealing with me that I could not speak English. Shackles tied to my feet, one I could not unleash. The only party that I was aware of was one leading to me passing away. But I met a friend, June. He sat on my freedom and said, I am welcomed. I kept asking him for my sins, but all he did was knit me in my skin. Anxiety had me by the neck. Fear dragged me in the mirror. Portals of visibility were closed. I couldn't even disappear. But suddenly, I saw a light shining bright. The light stripped me bare of my pains and my shames and my anguish and my fears because it led me through the path of light. Yes, it was my compass. So even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the full moon, dark death, I will fear no evil, no werewolves, no vampires, no evil. Because the standing right like a backbone right before me. The agencies of hospitality, they comfort me. It plays a five cause me on the table before me in the presence of doom. My tongue was activated at the sight of Pepper Toki, the donkeys that play boy dress and ride white bell professors. Even the death stats were not left untouched. My cup runneth over like waters in the river. What more can I say? When I met the king, the compass, leading me through my path. My path is not my path because the compass brought me to this path. Thank you.